Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ellis Fowler and today I want to talk to you about vision boards. I want to show you how to make a digital vision board on a free website called Canva and we can take the file that we use and download it to your computer or you can print it out at a place like Walgreens and hang it somewhere prominently in your space so that you can use that vision board to keep you motivated and keep you set on your intentions throughout the year. So what is a vision board? A lot of times people use vision boards to keep them motivated, keep them focused, and help them put their intentions out there in the universe to manifest what it is they want in their lives. So for me, I have a vision board hanging up here above my desk. It has pictures and representations of things that I want to bring into my life, things that I want to manifest. And I also have affirmations on there that I use to keep myself focused and motivated throughout the year. You know, a lot of times during the week, during the year, you just get in a lot of junk. You can get into a routine with work and family and, and whatever else where you are just kind of moving like a robot and you're not really focusing on the things that you know that you want to accomplish. So since it is the beginning of the year, and New Year's resolutions are, you know, going to be made. I wrote a book called Realize Your Resolutions. And this is one of the things I talk about, using a vision board to help you stay focused throughout the year. Um, I look at mine. I try to look at mine every day. I can tell a huge difference in my focus when I am not taking the time to look at the vision board, to say those affirmations, and really set myself up for success during the day by putting my intentions out there in the universe um, and just kind of reminding myself that this is who I am, this is what I want, and I need to make the choices uh, and, the, and the moves to, to get where I want to go. So let's get into it. Uh, very briefly, I'll show you how to do it in Canva. You can do it yourself and print it out and put it somewhere in your house. Hopefully you do that at the start of the new year and it can really help you out throughout the year to stay focused. So the first thing you need to do for your vision board is to collect some images. Now, traditionally, people, when they make vision boards, will take like pictures and magazines and things like that and do it physically, cutting them out and posting them up. I think the process of making a vision board is really important to help you kind of set those intentions. It's really motivating as you look for those images to say, what's going to represent my uh, dreams and myself and what I want to manifest this year? And so the process of finding those images is really important and it's easy to do when we're doing it digitally. So the first thing you want to do is to gather a bunch of images that you feel represent your resolutions for the year or what you want to focus on in the coming year. So the best way to do that is just to go to Google and type in things that relate to the images you want to find. So let's just say this year I want to make meditation practice a regular part of my daily routine. So I'm going to type in meditation here. And I'm going to go at the top here to where it says images. And then I have lots of images to choose from. So really quickly, you want to click on an image that you like. So I like this one right here for now. And then when it pops up, you can right click it or command click it if you're on a Mac. There should be an option that says save image as. I'm going to save that image um, in a folder. So make a folder. If you don't know how to make a folder, you can just put it on your desktop for now and then delete the images later. So we'll just use the desktop for this example image. I'll name it meditation and then, or something close to that. <laughs> and then I will save it. Now, one thing to note is when you're choosing images for your vision board, if you're going to print them out, make sure they're high quality images. I can already tell that this one has some pixelation. So you know, if this was a real example, I would not use this one. Look for images that are pretty large and you can see the sizes at the bottom here. So without going too much into detail about image sizes, anything that's less than a thousand probably isn't going to show up too great. So if you choose something like this 1200 by 675, I mean, that may be fine. You can always go to tools at the top when you search and then go to size and choose a large or larger than and you could choose like two megapixels here and that will filter out all of the small images and you'll get images that are pretty high quality so you could make different choices let's say i want to use this one instead once again right clicking save image as meditation one uh, on my desktop all right so once you've gathered all of the images that you want to use i like to use quotes as well so any kind of images with quotes on them um, pictures of what it is you want to manifest this year. 
Then we're going to go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Once you pull that up, you can log in at the top here if you already have an account, or you can choose different ways to log in. So I'm going to click log in here, and you can do it through a number of different ways. You can log in with your Google account. You can log in with your Facebook account. I'm already logged into Facebook, so it just popped up like that. So once you get into Canva, at the very top on the right side here, we have different options of sizes of images that we can choose from. So when we want to make a vision board to print, you probably want to choose something that's pretty large. I use a standard poster size frame that I am hanging up here. So uh, find out the dimensions of that frame or whatever you want to hang it up as. <laughs> uh, choose a size, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to go to the upper right hand corner here where it says use custom dimensions and click that. And that's where we can put in the size of the image we want to use. So for me, my poster size is 16 inches by 20 inches. So make sure that on the right side here, there's a drop down. Right now it's measuring the size in pixels, the PX. So we want to click that and go down to inches. And that way we're using real world measurements here, not just digital measurements. So um, I want the width, I want it to be wider than it is long. So I want to do 20 inches wide and 16 inches high. Uh, you can choose whatever it is you want here depending on how you want to um, arrange your design. So I'm going to click design here and it's going to pop up with our blank canvas that is 20 inches by 16 inches right here. So the easiest thing to do is on the left side over here there are some Canva layouts and these are just ways to arrange images that are preset and they're going to make it really easy for you to be able to drag and drop your images into these placeholders. So when I'm making a vision board, I have a lot of things that I want to manifest in my life. So I'm going to choose one of the images that's fairly symmetrical and has um, quite a few boxes because I want to make it look good since I'm going to print it, uh, you know, for my wall. So I'm going to choose this one right here that has several of those images. I'm just going to click on it and then the placeholders pop up on the right hand side here in our canvas. Now if you click on the canvas you can see some options up here uh, that pop down on this little drop down right uh, right below the main window and you have a, a option there that says spacing so you can scale up or you can scale down depending on if you want there to be any kind of divider in between the images when you finally print that vision board. So I'm going to do small spaces here. I want it to look uh, fairly close together. And then we're going to go to the left hand side over here all the way down where it says uploads. And this is where we can start to upload the images that we have. So I'm going to click upload your Canva images. And I actually have a folder in my pictures that says vision board 2.0. And this is where I saved all of the images that I want to use. I have uh, pictures of somebody hiking because I want to, you know, work out more outdoors this year. I have meditation pictures. These are, you know, pictures of my family, some of them personal things. So what you can do is upload those images. You could select them all at once if you wanted to just drag and select them all. And then it's going to put them over here on the left side so you can just drag and drop them as you will. So. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So I'll push open and then a lot of these pictures, you can see the little bars here of them being saved into your Canva library. So once these bars are full, then the images are ready for you to be able to drag and drop them to your canvas. So let me find some that are complete. I got a smoothie here, me on a movie set, this thing that says right. So a couple things here. Let's take them and we're going to drag them and you can see how uh, the box that it's going to go in is highlighted here. So I'm just going to let go and now it is in that box. And if I double click it, I can arrange the image how I might want it. I can even scale it down a little bit, possibly just get it in a, a way that you want. And then up in the left side over here, there's a check mark. Once you check that, you accept the image being the way it is. So. I'm not going to be really picky here because I want to make this quick. So I'm just going to go in and randomly add these images to these boxes. 
I'll even probably do a little fade, so I'll be done by the time you see it again. All right, so now I have all of my images here in my Canva layout. And if this is good enough for you, you can just go ahead and print that, uh, save it up in the right-hand corner where it says download. There'll be a few options. Choose the PDF print option for the highest quality, and then you'll just be able to click download and that image is going to download to your computer and you can take that um, and upload it to walgreens.com and have it printed or just use it as a desktop background. I'll show you how to do that a little later because I don't want to uh, just have this yet. Like I said before, I like to put affirmations on my vision board so that I can say those affirmations. kind of makes it more of an active thing um, rather than it just being a bunch of pictures up there on the board. So like the one that I have above my desk now, I kind of use some of the in-between spaces to put the affirmations or quotes that I want to, uh, to remember on these areas. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly. So we're going to go up to Elements. In, in Elements, there's one over here that's called Shapes. I'm going to click that, and I'm just going to use a simple square. I'm going to drag it into the canvas, and I'm going to manipulate it by dragging these little circles so that it kind of fits here and it's room for me to write something, an affirmation that I want to put. So let's see, I'm going to go over here to the left again. There's an option that says text and they have preset um, text things that you can use over here. I like to use the ones that are just one line because these can kind of get complicated with the spacing unless you know you want it to look exactly like that. So. I'm going to use the, the subheading option and just drag it over to that box. And now I can put an affirmation here. Um, so I'm just going to type something here. Today I am committed to eating healthy. I think that's all spelled right. I can't see right now because it is black. So you can double click it and highlight it and go up here to the color box and make it whatever color you want. You can make it yellow. Uh, you know, so if you're going to put it in a room that has a particular color scheme, it's a good idea to, um, you know, kind of make it match. You can even take, click the box, and there's the same thing over here, that color box. You can change it to whatever color looks best for you. And you can continue to do this um, and get creative, putting these things in different places all around the image. Uh, I like to put at least three, so you could just click that box up in the right side here. It says copy, and now you have a new one that you can move down, let's say, to the bottom here. Choose that subheading again, or better yet, just go to this one, click copy again, and drag it down, and then just, uh, you know, change the wording. And you can play with the size of the text over here. You can play with the font on the side. You can really make this look as good as you want. You can do it as fast as possible or put a lot of time in it and make it look awesome um, and be something that you're really proud of. So once you get it the way you want it, once again, we're going to download, making sure that we choose PDF print because it's the highest quality one. Download it and then if you're using Google Chrome, it's going to come up on the bottom here and show you. It's usually in your downloads folder. Hopefully you know where your downloads are going uh, from your computer. Uh, so once you've done that, go to some place like walgreens.com is what I like to use. They have a photo section. And if you click that, they have options of ways that you can print. They, they're always running a sale on their print stuff. Like right now, 30% off prints, posters, and enlargements. Um, you can get the code and get 30% off when you're ready to check out. They, they always have codes, so um, check them out. Google Walgreens print coupon codes if they don't have it prominently on the site like they usually do. So once you get there, you can go to where it says posters. Click that and choose the type of poster you want. I just want a standard poster right here. And Make sure the size that you created your document at is the size that you choose. So I made mine 16 by 20 or 20 by 16, same thing here. So I'm gonna make sure that I click that. It's gonna be $15.99, um, but then I'm gonna get the 30% off because of the coupon code. 
So click create now. And once everything loads, you're going to be able to go to the right hand side where it says upload photos, click that. You're going to choose it from your computer. And so wherever that file saved from Canva, that is where you want to uh, upload the image from. So I'm going to use mine from last year that it's because it's already loaded, but you would select images and go here. And then I have my vision board right there. So I clicked it. It's going to upload it for me. And then you can just follow the rest of the steps. Um, and it's very straightforward to make that poster the way you want it and print it and pick it up at your local Walgreens or have it shipped to you and it'll be professional, look like the one that's above my desk up here. All right, so I'll show you real quick. Um, I have it selected. So I'm going to go to up here where it says add selected photos and it brings up the canvas of the poster that you are going to be using. Now, I made my poster in a landscape. You know, it's longer than it is tall. So I'm going to want to change this. Right here, it says orientation. If you click that, it's going to change the orientation to a landscape mode. Um, and that's exactly what I want to see. So make sure that it's all in there the appropriate size. Mine was a little zoomed in for some reason. So make sure that you zoom it out so that everything that you created is in that area. Um, and then from there, you just go to review order, proceed to cart, and then follow the rest of the steps. Make sure you enter your coupon code so you can get that, uh, that little bit off when you do it. So that's it. A simple way for you to make a digital vision board, print it out, hang it up, Hopefully it's going to help you to stay motivated and stay focused throughout the year and give you some encouragement to stay on track. I encourage you to check out my book. It's called Realize Your Resolutions. It's available now on Amazon.com. It's a short book. I go step by step of ways to make specific goals and to make a plan that is going to help you to stay on track and accomplish your goals at the end of the year. No matter what time of year it is, it's never too late to make a change, to get on task and get going. So check it out if you would. It's on Amazon, it's only 99 cents. I appreciate you for checking out this video. Great things are on the horizon for you. Take care.